Hello folks, welcome to Look What You Did, the show where me and my friend get together and talk about a film that's not necessarily bad, but uh, kind of bonkers, like, like today's film we're going to talk about for sure. Uh, that friend in question, you may know him from the Doctor Movie uh, podcast, and of course uh, the new, uh, it, I don't say improved, man, but I, 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 love, I love the Superman episode. I didn't listen to the Jardina and Jones cool. one yet, but um, I, um, I didn't see the last one. But Ricky Morgan is here. How you doing, sir? What's happening, my friend? I, I'm <laughs> uh, here, and um, I, I got my, uh, my 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 monkey around. I'm, I'm I'm ready to kick some balls here, man. It's just, uh, <laughs> uh, well, I do have to say before we get into this that I I couldn't find an overdubbed version, and the version that had the subtitles wasn't correct, so I'm guessing at what I'm going to talk about. <laughs> oh, I, I, you should have said something, brother. I, I would have hooked you up, man. I, I, I had a record. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, spoilers. They said this I mean, not, do you do not, you really need to know, know a lot? I mean... Not, not terribly, <laughs> no, but, you know, you kind of nah. get the story from the, from the visuals and a lot of it. Um, right. I suppose the last time, last time I said, last time we had a show... I said this is on Paramount Plus. It still says it's on Paramount Plus, but it is not on Paramount Plus, people. So mm. you, you might have to buy this one or rent this one because um, I, th- I think it's a it's a hell of a good. I time. had trouble finding it. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's weird. I, I did. I had a little trouble finding. It. Uh, the film in question probably is is called Shaolin Soccer. This is from two thousand one. It's one of those notorious bootlegs I got from the flea market yes, some time ago. But Miramax managed to put it out eventually on physical media. Um. This is uh, written, well, this is directed, co-written, and starring uh, the great Stephen Chow, who you guys may know from Kung Fu Hustle. He, he's the star of that oh, movie yeah. as well. That's, that's a good time right there, Kung Fu Hustle. Oh, there. yeah. Um, your cheapo plot synopsis of this movie is, a young Shaolin follower reunites with his discouraged brothers to form a soccer team using their martial arts skills to their advantage. Oh, man. This is, this is <laughs> wild. Um... Again, this is one that I saw, and uh, I used to go to the flea market a lot, and uh, my, my friend would sell me things to say, hey, watch this new Thai movie with, with Donnie Yen, or watch <laughs> this and watch that, and that's where I first saw Battle Royale, and where I first, oh, saw, yeah. where I first, first saw this, like, this is, it's about soccer, right? This is going to be dull as shit, and then, you know, I, I watch it, and it's like, it's, it's bonkers. It's bonkers from head to toe. But, it um, is. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, this is about a, 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 a homeless guy, I guess. He has a place to live, but they, they you find that out later. But he's like a basically a derelict who's, you know, he's he's arrogant as hell. And he has, seems to have all these martial arts skills that are unworldly. And he uses them to, like, push cars and, like, you know, kick beer cans in, in the, insanely. And <laughs> But the, the meat potatoes of this film is... um. This guy, this disgraced uh, f- footballer, a uh, soccer player, uh, who got fucked over, he, he essentially gets these guys together to, to use their skills to uh, make a soccer team to go against his rival, who's uh, the right. leader of uh, Team Evil. I guess, I guess, guess what they are, guys. They're evil. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and, it, and it goes back to their youth, too, because the, these two guys were on a team together. And, uh, you know, he got the blame for missing a shot and losing the game and the, the, the people come out of the crowd and just break his leg <laughs> yeah you find out later they were hired to do that because you know yeah <laughs> not, not only did they they pay our our, our 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 current coach coach hung uh off to to throw the match he got his leg broken for that and um yeah good old go good old golden leg right there and then it, it, it's uh Oh, Co- Coach Hung is the evil coach. I'm sorry, our our our, our coach is Golden Leg Fung, who um <laughs> he's the one that got his leg broken for his trouble and is disgraced and has to you know have have somebody step on his head so he can polish his shoe and he, he's uh yeah it's 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 it's, it's a it's a bad situation, but I, I I've seen this before multiple times, Ricky. This is your first time talking about this film. What are your thoughts on yeah, Shaolin Soccer? I'm sorry. What are your thoughts on Shaolin Soccer? Oh, well, I mean, you said it earlier. I, I'm a huge fan of Kung Fu Hustle. So when I saw Stephen Chow was doing this, I was like, oh, yeah. I mean, I, I don't really know why I missed this one. But um, like I said, I had a little trouble. But it's it's everything that I loved about Kung Fu Hustle, but on a soccer field. And <laughs> 
is just yeah, you know, like you said, it's bonkers. I mean, it's it's one of those things that you kind of want to show other people and go, you just you just I'm not going to explain it. Just watch this part. <laughs> but it's it's a lot of fun and uh it's just insane. It's absolutely insane. The the fact that you're taking these guys that have these uh these superhuman powers and <laughs> turn them into a soccer team, but they're not the only ones. I mean, the other teams they go up against, you find out that they have powers too. So you have a pretty big showdown here at the end. It's that's pretty awesome against Team Evil. So it lays it out right there. Uh, what, what what I love about this film is it's kind of like a mixture of things. I mean, you, you got some Blues Brothers thrown in there. The, these brothers are broke up. They all have different jobs now. You know, one's like an accountant. One right. just, just like a disgraced degenerate. He's he's all fat and stuff, and he can't do anything anymore. But what I love about <laughs> that guy is he can do slew everything, although he's chubby. So if you like some fat guy martial arts stuff, like like yeah. a Samuel Hung thing, this guy yeah. who who plays um, ooh, what is his name? They call him lightweight. Uh, ironically, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, this guy can do some stuff too, although he's heavy. So it's fun. It's fun to watch a, a fat guy kick ass. Um, it's, it's, and it's funny, it's because like it's like they have to relearn their powers too. It's like they put them aside and they forgot how to use them. And he's working at a at a grocery store and he's stocking a shelf and he can't really reach the top and he fails at doing that. And they're like, oh, he's going to use his powers to you know reach up there and ends up crashing down. So it, it's it's like it's like the bad news bears really when you think about it. Uh, you're taking these guys that really have no purpose of being on a soccer field. But they all have these powers, but, you know, slowly, one by one, they start, you know, beating these teams. They they start getting their, their act together, uh, only to find out that, you know, really they're in the, they're not in the same category as some of these other teams. But that's what makes it so fun. By the way, this show is brought, brought to you by Teflon Soccer Balls, where they'll break anything, <laughs> and even, even you. <laughs> so there's that, you know. I uh, had to throw a little Hail Ming in there because, you know, the, the, the Absolutely. you know. Because <laughs> these soccer balls, this movie could take a beating, especially during these matches, where you literally have them going on fire and, and flying into people. But then when they hit it, when the the, the opposing uh, goalie of Team Evil catches the ball, it is no longer a flame, but it lands in his hand. Now at the velocity <laughs> that this ball is kicked in this man, it should have exploded in his chest. You know, but, right? Uh, yeah. Not not these teams though. Not not these soccer balls. So. Yeah, it's it's outlandish, and, and I love the 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 Bruce Lee, uh, game of death goalie. You know, oh, yeah. it's, <laughs> just, it's, it's not an accident either. You know, right? Oh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, it's it's got something for everybody. I, I I just I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, and again, I was trying to guess at some stuff that was being said. Uh, you can't talk about this without talking about the love interest, and uh. Making dumplings, you know, her, her sweet sweet uh, buns, man. And she, she's, she's the best at it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and going from super shy and and you know recluse to kind of saving the day, you know. So, yeah, I mean, it, it's it's insane. <laughs> it's, it, it's funny you mentioned the Bad News Bears. Um, you know, the, yeah. the the reason why they were so good is because they had they had ringers. They had Kelly Leak and they had Amanda. You know, come in and you know make them better. The, the, these guys are, are, are the the underdogs because they're they're you know they're down and out, but right. they're they're really not the underdogs. You know, once once they get down to business and you yeah. know when they get down to business, I, I love the training montage movies. It's kind of perfect because they have to learn the t- take these skills that they have learned and slow it down to to the point <laughs> of you know this is how you kick the ball, this is how you juggle the ball, and my favorite, right. One of the favorite scenes of the film is where um, he makes our man, um, M- M- Mighty Steel Leg, uh, sing, um, kick the egg without breaking it. <laughs> every time he would break one, yeah. g- g- good old friggin' lightweight would lose his mind because those were his eggs, you know? Right. He's like, right. Yeah, I'll buy you more, I'll buy you more. He's like sucking them <laughs> off his shoe and sucking them out of his mouth and, you know, it's... it's it's so stupid, but I, I, yeah. I love it so much that it's, it's, it's so random. Yeah, it's it's super random. But yeah, I mean, I, that's what I kept saying the whole time watching. It's like, man, this is it's it's like 
bad news bears. I mean, because you're getting the the ragtag team that don't have the abilities, but you know they've got the heart, right? And they build it off of that, and it's kind of like that little bit of slap shot mixed in there together. Because the ultimate goal is to to rub it in the face of the leader of you know the guy that owns everything, the, our main bad guy. So yeah, I mean it's it's. The only thing that was different is, you know, we should have thrown the trophy at the end, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, they, they, they do win because, yeah, they figure, out, they figure out a way to win. And yeah, the way is a uh, good old uh, movie or movie, how do you say her name? She, the, the, the love interest who right. l- looks like she has acne all over her face. I'm not sure if that's from working with with, with the, the biscuits all those years, just like. Yeah. But when she comes back and she shaves her head as as, <laughs> as the monk, she she has a clean face. So I guess she, she, it, it cleared her very nicely, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. That's what happens, you know. You you get pure, you know. <laughs> P- pure, yeah, I mean, purified by the monk lore, man. You 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 really can't. You, it's hard to describe this movie because it's it's all over the place. But the, the CGI stuff, of course, it's you know. Would you say two thousand one? 2001 yeah. yeah and yeah i mean so you're right at the edge of really pulling some things off and but it really works for the story you know even though the it's same thing with kung fu hustle right the effects are crazy over the top but it works for the story and i think you get the same thing here to where it it actually works and it's just a lot of fun <laughs> it's a lot of fun my favorite scenes of the whole film is, is, is a silly scene. Um, I have a lot of favorite scenes in this film, but Ironhead, who's Sing's partner, his, his first brother, as he calls them, for some reason, he, he, he runs like a, like a bar back for this, bar, for this club. And they had, they had a musical act, so him and Sing have to go put, up a, put a performance up there. He has some, some Shaolin <laughs> rock and roll or something. His boss. Yeah, that's crazy. His boss in this film. And he's, he's, he's called Ironhead. So his boss just breaks bottles over his head. But during the performance, he all has, the time, he has like a like a waistband <laughs> full of bottles to throw at him just at the ready. <laughs> I love that stupid thing so much, you know. Yeah, but it's it's again, it's that thing, right? And, and it's hey, you know, it'd be funny here, <laughs> you know. And, and I don't know. I, I, again, that's that's what you get with Stephen Chow. Uh, I think that's. Just his flair that that he brings to it's what makes his movie so different, and you know, I haven't I haven't seen one yet that hasn't been entertaining. So he's just I don't know he's got a knack for that. Well, yeah, the way they, the way they play all these guys play physical comedy in this movie is um oh yeah is, is wonderful. It, it's that that's what that makes it work in my opinion. And yeah, that 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 and the, I mentioned a montage scene I forgot to mention where you know. Our, our hero, our, our lead of the team, is is juggling the ball against a brick wall, and the the more yeah. he learns, it, it, like the cooler it looks. He 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 kicks, he gets the final kick to the ball, and it flies in the stratosphere somewhere. Again, just yeah. throw, just throw away reality. These these monks could do amazing things, you know, including yep. including turn a ball into a puma as as it kicks it through the opposing team, and <laughs> uh, which I, I I read there there's a lot of puma pro- product placement. I guess maybe they provided some of the gear or something. Right. Yeah, when they they do the whole shoe run, right? You yeah. know, and then when they finally get an endorsement or whatever. <laughs> and yeah, the, the ball turns into the Puma, and they're wearing Puma stuff, so it's like a big product placement thing. And yeah. it's, it's not crazy noticeable. It's just if if you didn't read about it, you wouldn't notice it. It's just yeah. hey, wow, he turned that ball into a friggin' fiery Puma, you know? <laughs> I, 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 and you believe yeah, I, I, and you believe that too, you know? Sure. I mean, again, you're taking what we love about the martial arts flicks and the the abilities that these monks have, and you're just giving it to these guys and let them use it on a soccer field. I mean, it's it's not that far of a stretch. I mean, I, I see movies a lot more often that are way more of a stretch than this idea. And like I said, Stephen somehow makes it work, and you go, "This is awesome." <laughs> Yeah, that's great. That the co- the other coach is great too. He's just he's just a like an evil douchebag. Like yeah. uh, I don't know if you know who the comic artist Jim Steranko is. He always dresses like he's George Hamilton or something. <laughs> this this guy this film's like dressed to the nines and hair slicked back, and he looks like he's right. evil. And one of my favorite things in the movie is his group of ringers, one of which is in the bottom of the swimming pool, like training 
Like he's managing to keep himself balanced in the bottom of the pool along with this soccer ball. And then all of a sudden you see like this tidal wave shoot up, you know? <laughs> like I mentioned before we did, before on the last review, you described this, this is Dragon Ball Z with, with soccer. They have ungodly yeah. powers. Yeah. And this guy sure. apparently can stand yep. at the bottom of the pool and just, you know, do crazy shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Absolutely fun, man. But yeah, I, 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 like I said, I've seen this, and this had trouble being released by Miramax. Apparently, they had a problem with Stephen Chow, why they were going to U.S. release until like two years later of when they were going to huh. release it, because something with the dubbing, he, he wanted to dub himself, and I guess he did on the American release. I'd never seen this not dubbed, so I, I know I knew it existed, because I know Miramax put it out, so if you're looking yeah. for a physical copy of this, uh, it's probably easier to find than... Uh, 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 digital copy because I haven't seen it on a lot of formats, unfortunately, and it, it was a big struggle to get it here, which is why the bootleg market was so strong with this one in the states. Yeah, I seen it, I seen it everywhere. You know, you go, you would go, and and I guess this is like at the time like the highest grossing Hong Kong we ever existed, like sixty million it made at the box office. Yeah. And um, Steve, Stephen Chow was a star. He, yeah, I get, I get it. I do. I really do. I, I think, you know, it, it's in a lot of ways, it's a better movie than Kung Fu Hustle, you know. And you're reaching out to a different crowd with with the whole so- soccer aspect, right? So yeah, I mean, I I totally get it. I, it's it's absolutely fun. I need to find a dub copy of it and and see it that way for sure. Yeah, I, th- I think. Um... Yeah, I think like I said, Miramax put it out. So it should be it should be crazy hard to find unless it's like, like that crazy out of print. Um, but yeah, the, this this is something I enjoy. This this is my kind of stupid. And and oh yeah, there's there's not many films that are like this. And right, it's it's the fact that they're using soccer as a catalyst. It, it is you know as much as people say, oh soccer, that's that's kind of lame. Well, it's still the most popular sport throughout the entire world. <laughs> It, it just That's is true. that 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 and yeah. golf are probably the most popular sports that there is. Right. Yeah. So reaching to that whole audience at the at an international level, you show them what you show them, and you know the, these crazy visuals. I I, I love the I love yeah. the scene where the, the girls m- m- making the dough balls. It's <laughs> it's so simple, but you know she's right. she's mixing the the flour around and putting yeah. it together just with, with her her Shaolin action going on there. And yeah. It's in everything, man. Every, everything that these people do, and that's that. Of course, that's obviously what draws him to it at first, you know. But uh, you know, the whole shoe scenario, right? Yep. <laughs> it's, <laughs> uh, it's just great. It's a great movie. Gave her the gave her those mangy shoes as freaking payment, and you know, <laughs> and then she goes and fixes them, and she fixes them again. And the end of the movie, like, oh, I, I already have shoes. You don't have these shoes. She puts like the steel cleats on them for him and stuff, and right. Gives them the the, the 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 power to 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 win, and of course the power to to love. But you see, <laughs> see in the end of the movie, which is, you can call it silly, but it, it all comes into play where he's talking talking to the coach about, you know, oh that person would have the trouble moving that car if they use this this technique of Shaolin. That that person would have lost his job trimming those hedges if he would have did this thing this thing this level of Shaolin. <laughs> and right at the end, you see everybody like. Is like a Shaolin sensation because they won this soccer match and they're all doing moves in the street. One of my favorite baller moves in the movie <laughs> at, the, at the very end where they, they don't pick them up on the bus, so they all do the, the, the hops and the jumps to get on the double decker bus. It's just right, it's, it's a stupid <laughs> CG thing, but it's, it's stuff I love, you know. But yeah, I mean, it, but again, it ties into all those things that we love from all the old martial arts flicks, right? I mean, that's. That's the beauty of it, and that, that, again, that's kind of what he does. He's able to take these things and and put them into a more modern time and make it work. And you know, <laughs> I think about the the soccer team they played that were all the the girls with the mustaches. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, they, they were painted on, and I think that the one girl had like a, a glued on goatee or something for no yeah. reason. You know, <laughs> I mean, it's just you know. As soon as you think things are going to calm down and you get some normalcy, it's just it throws another thing at you, and it's just it doesn't stop. And I think that's brilliant, and, and no explanation. They just happen, you know. That's that's what I like about it. They're, they're, they're doing they're doing everything like that. I mean, the whole idea of their goalie, yeah. who's a uh, Irish shirt tin, is the goalie of of the team, and 
he could literally make make those soccer balls spin around on his chest like he's got like a plate there or something. And right, like he's it's it's insane. Yep. It, it's, I don't want to give away too much crazy things because you guys need to see this film. And I'm gonna I'm gonna let Ricky talk for a little bit longer while I, I look up where you could find this film to to purchase because um, <laughs> I am un, I am unprepared in that sense. I know where I got it, but it was it was in a, from an unsavory location, so you know. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's kind of where I had to, to go as well, just just to find it. So, uh, obviously, you can pick it up on on Amazon stuff like that. It's like they got the DVD out there. I don't know about a Blu-ray, but uh, I mean, you can find it to purchase. But as far as is you know, getting to just scan it, uh, I had trouble. But uh, maybe you have better luck. Maybe you got other services that you that you guys check out and can find it there. Chances are, if you clicked on this to to listen to this show, you probably already have a copy of this. <laughs> That's what I would think. So, but yeah, I, you know, it was really a surprise for me checking this one out, and I didn't know it was a Stephen Child movie till the credits started rolling and it said, and "I was like, wow, okay." That's so I, I knew what I was in for. It's kind of like when you see like Sam Raimi's name on something, you pretty much know what you're gonna get, and it's kind of the same way with Stephen and. He delivers, man. I'm telling you. Not every time. He he did do that. Ba- um, what for for the love of the game? Sam Raimi did. It's like, well, that that's different, you know. Just, yeah, uh, that's you know, that's a money. That's a that's a that's a money thing there, yeah, right? I, I, I mean, I suppose, that's yeah. <laughs> yeah, available to rent or buy. You can buy it. You can buy it for for ten bucks on digital on Amazon, or rent it for four bucks. So there you go. You guys might really like this one, though. I'm not sure about a physical release. I'm going to look that up right now, too, while we're talking. Yeah. Yeah, d- d- just DVD, though, nine ninety nine. I'm sure that's the Miramax one. So probably They'll probably have some kind of yeah. anniversary yeah. edition or something, oh, you know. I wish, you know. but I don't think it exists in this country. It just, uh, yeah. But 10 bucks for physical release, and I, I think you won't be upset if you buy, if you bought the physical release. It just, uh, yeah. This is, uh, this is crazy, stupid fun. It's a ch- turn your brain off, to ch- ch- turn off what, yep. you th- what you think about physics so they don't exist in this movie, people. You know? <laughs> they do not exist in this movie at all. Yeah. And, um, go, go you got Shaolin it. powers, yo. You got, got Shaolin powers, man. That can make you <laughs> sing poorly but kick a soccer ball very, very well. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> but, um, final thoughts, mm. sir, about this film. And uh, I don't know, what would you give it, 1 to 10? I think I'll give it an 8. I think it's a lot of fun. I, I I think it's one of those you can watch many times and get new things out of it. And and again, I'm, I was struggling because I really didn't know what was going on because the subtitles were wrong. But, you know, I, you get the gist of it. So yeah, I'd, I'd like to check it out again to where, you know, I, I've got things correct and, and it makes sense. So. Yeah, it's, it's about it's about an eight for me, too. This is a uh, this is stuff I enjoy. This is. Cultural things, which is which is my, my which I'll talk about in a second. Or look what you did moment of this film is is, is a cultural thing, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> it, it's 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 an eight. Um, what, what's that girl's name now? The the, the love interest. Uh, the, that girl's sweet dough balls out of ten. So there you go. But, uh, <laughs> that's when she yeah. when she got sad. Them dough balls got all salty and stuff. Come on, man. You know. But, um, <laughs> Yeah, this comes at the yeah. time of the show again, where we say, uh, this is our, look what you did. Look what your brother did to that star. Yeah, he got no, no writing at home. You damn fool. You ruined the door. Oh, so, Ricky, what's your look what you did part of this film? Uh, a, a scene, anything about this movie? Uh, it's got to be the training montage more than anything else because that, it's really where you're starting to understand the characters. And I just I love a good training montage, and I, I think this one is different enough and hilarious enough that I just I loved it. <laughs> My look, what you did thing, and this is probably the first I've ever seen something like this. I'm sure it's a cultural thing, you know, in in China. Was the flash mob that came out of nowhere in this movie? Oh yeah! Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, <laughs> they they made contact with their fiery eyeballs, and all of a sudden people started singing and they started dancing in the streets, and you know it gets yeah. broken up, of course. But this is probably the first time I ever heard of something like that, and then became like an internet sensation—the idea of a flash mob. And yeah, 
yeah, it's, it's weird that in the middle of a movie like this that has nothing to do with music whatsoever, just breaks out into a song and dance, you know. So yeah, it's it, it's that wacky. I mean, that's that's the thing about it. You can you can go <laughs> throughout this movie and and pinpoint about every five minutes something unusual, but it works. And as much as our, our baller, the 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 the, the leader of Team Evil was. That man still walked around with holes in his socks. Is all I'm gonna say about that one. Yeah, because they, yeah. they they stole that man's <laughs> shoes. Oh man, and, uh, <laughs> that was the thing of this movie. I, lo- I love the little things, man. Um, yeah, crazy, crazy. Now, now, Ricky, for for the very next episode of Look What You Did, uh, do you have a, a film picked out for that? I don't. <laughs> well, we, will, we will find out what that is in the next episode, then, guys. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think yeah, I, we'll figure I, it out. I think I know what my next one's going to be after that, so I, I think it's it's in, the, it's in the back of my brain. So, <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I'll have to do some digging and find us a good one. So, I, I have I'll... been I have been listening to the shark episodes of the um, oh. of the the, the, the doctor movies and yeah. It like uh, it, me... it, it like broke your heart to have to review Jaws four. Let me tell you, yeah. That, uh... <laughs> oh, that's nothing, man. I mean, uh, all of next week. Is pretty solid. I really enjoyed most of what I watched for what's coming up next week. But the week after that, which is the week that I'm recording right now, dude, I'm struggling. <laughs> I'm struggling. Oh, so Michael Caine's like they named me after a sandwich, <laughs> but it bought me a beach house. I don't care. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They named uh, that man Hoagie in the yeah. movie. Come on now, you know. Yeah, that, I just that, 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 sounds, that, that sounds like a fat friend in an eighties movie, a hoagie. Come on now, yeah. <laughs> yeah, not not a fan of part four, but uh, there's a, there's a lot more coming after that on purpose, you know. So the last chart came out today, and tomorrow is Cruel Jaws. Cruel Jaws. Which, the reason I set it up that way because Cruel Jaws pretty much takes everything from the Jaws series and Great White or the Last Shark. And it rips all of them off. <laughs> so, so, so bad that several.